Hi, everyone. I'm Aaron Zurich, the Global Training Programs Manager out of Esri Redlands here in California. And I'm happy to be here to share this 2020 Esri Developer Summit Spotlight talk with you on Esri Technical Certification. The Esri Certification Program began about 10 years ago with two items in mind. Number one, the program should serve customers, Esri business partners, Esri international distributors, and Esri employees. And two, Esri certification should bring value to both the individuals who obtain them, as well as the organizations that they work for. Over my years in the program, I've realized there is a, some longstanding misinformation about the certification industry as a whole and that is that certifications bring value only to the individuals, not their organizations. Uh, this is proven to be incorrect through various forms of research, and I want to share with you our findings that help show the value that, that the ESRI technical certifications bring to both the individual and their organization. To ensure we were providing a program that did bring value, uh, we set out a few years back to redesign our program. Uh, and I've summarized the key changes here in, in this slide, but in short, um, we wanted to better align our exams with organizational and individual technical needs. Our exams are built using a very rigorous process to ensure that the topics our exam cover um, are what the GIS industry expects from employees they hire with those certifications. So our certification development process isn't ESRI or my certification team telling you what's important. It is the GIS industry as a whole. Um, second to that, we wanted to make sure we had leveled our exams properly, ensuring that our exams cover and are aligned to the various topics uh, within each domain uh, for entry, associate, and professional level users. We wanted to correct, to ensure that there was correct exam content and topics as a whole. We wanted to shift to a time-based development versus version-based development cycle for our exams. And finally, we wanted to introduce the idea of specialty exams which helped tremendously with alignment of skills for specialized job functions, uh, such as, as the case in the developer space. With the redesign, we kept the desktop domain as is, providing an entry, associate, and professional level. In the enterprise domain, we refined this substantially. Uh, that refinement included a reduction in the number of exams that we offered and the conversion of all enterprise domain exams to the professional level. This was done to reflect the importance that these products, the functionality, the concepts play in the effectiveness of an organization's GIS as a whole. Uh, and finally, as I mentioned earlier, we introduced the idea of specialty exams. We currently have two of those available, our ArcGIS Online Administration Specialty, as well as our ArcGIS API for JavaScript specialty. Uh, as we speak, we have two others in development, uh, one that is Python focused, that should come out here in May or June of this year, and a utility network specialty that's currently in the early stages of development. So how does certification bring value to individuals and organizations and, and help you advance your goals? Um, well, a key way that organizations use certification is, is in the, their ability to find the right staff. Uh, there's been a global growing talent gap uh, that continues to widen. Globally, the latest number I have is around 40% of employers having difficulty finding the right person for a position. But in some areas, as you can see in the graph on the right, uh, this peaks at 86%. Um, certification, our program, provides a way for organizations to find the right talent, and it provides a way for the individuals who can fill those roles to more competitively market themselves. 
from a different industry survey. This one focused on IT-based certifications in general, of which ESRI is included. We see a high percentage of decision makers, 94%, validating the investment in an individual certification and the impact they bring to an organization. From this same survey, and coupled with additional internal research on our services teams here at ESRI, we, we see this reflected and we see other benefits reinforced. Uh, for example, a focus on certification brings more successful engagements. That's true from a training perspective, pro services perspective, and from a support services perspective. As a result, we deliver higher quality services. We have better staff productivity. Uh, with certified staff, we gain bid advantages in the marketplace. Uh, and we start off with better recruits to fill our roles here at Esri. Um, and these are reflected across the certification industry as a whole, not from ESRI or the other folks that create the certifications, but to the organizations whose staff attains them. Finally, from a third industry survey, we hear from the individuals who report on the value certification brings to them and thus their organization, predominantly through a, the better ability to perform complex tasks and the introduction of efficiencies into their roles. So how does ESRI certification enable th these individuals and their organization, organizations to understand and share the value? Uh, the first is the assignment of a digital badge that can be validated and shared. To date, um, we've issued around 4,100 of these digital badges. Uh, those badges have been shared approximately 3,250 3, times with about 18,300 total views by other individuals. Um, these digital badges come not only with the ability to share, but with a set of labor insights that show the top employers looking for people with the skill sets that align with our certifications. Additionally, we have several other outlets to, to understand value, not only from Esri, but from our customers. Uh, we have our Training Matters blog. You can find several articles there. One highlighted here is the value case for certification. Uh, we have ARC News and Esri.com. Um, the value of Esri technical certifications supported organizationally is a piece done in collaboration with one of our distributors out of Esri Netherlands. Um, and then we have a partner highlight article, uh, which is from True North, and it talks about the release ready partners committing to having fully certified technical staff and why. Um, and finally, and arguably one of the most important ones, is our certification success stories. These are stories from our certification candidates. There are 36 of them posted at this point. Um, and in these short stories, they share their journey and the value that certification brings to them. What is certification meant for them individually and for the organization? How did they prepare? What were the challenges they faced? What did they get out of going through this journey? If you're interested in staying current with Esri technical certification news and advancements, I'd encourage you to please visit our website that's listed here. Um, join our social communities on LinkedIn and GeoNet. We have a very large and active presence on LinkedIn. Um, at any of the conferences in the future, visit us at the Esri Expo area. And finally, when you do achieve your certification, share your story with others. It's not only helpful for them, it's helpful for our program, and it's inspiring to the additional candidates that may be out there. Thank you. Thank you.